I don't think a past should define anybody. I think you mm. learn from your past. I think you grow. I think you every Facts. day mm-hmm. you grow. Go you queen. you go through experiences. You learn mm-hmm. from it. A past will never define you. You if you let your past define you, it will define you. Exactly. Like mm-hmm. like check it out. That's you know what true. I'm saying? Like I know. Uh, like I I never been to space. Mm-hmm. But I can say I'm a I'm a fucking I used to be an astronaut. I can just say it, right? Because it's like my past doesn't define me. So I can just say that I'm an astronaut. Okay, that's extreme. That's extreme. No, no, I'm saying my past no, I'm, with you, I'm with you, baby. Go no, my, 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 my past doesn't define me. I'm an astronaut. Okay, if you want to believe that, then go for it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes, queen. There you go. Yes. 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 Fantastic. You want to be an alien? You go be an alien. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, All right, Fresh, you can finally identify as that lawnmower you wanted to be. <laughs> if you want to be a woman, you go be a woman. Yeah, if you think you're yeah. a woman five years ago, be a woman. Do you today. believe in uh, the use of pronouns? Uh... Oh, now you're back. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> so you saw a bunch of bullshit. Okay, 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 okay. I do. I do okay. to a certain extent. There is, there's a line. Where's that line for you? When you want to do surgeries to change it. Well, your past doesn't define you, man. So if you used to be a fucking man right now, you your past doesn't okay, define okay. you, man. We're not going to bring religion to this. However, God put you on this earth the way you are. Appreciate Amen. it. Love mm-hmm. it. But he did that in the past. It. it doesn't define you. <laughs> no, 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 no. Evolved. No, no, no. Your parents, they did stuff and you were born. Yeah. You don't change it. That like, was the what? past, though, man. Your past doesn't define you, man. <laughs> you want... I was with you. We was on the same page for a minute. no, 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 no. no, no. Isn't it funny when you bring up a woman's past or ask her if it matters, she goes all liberal and says she doesn't judge anyone by what they did in the past, and that it's only the present and the future that matters. But if you ask her the same thing about a man, or if she's interested to know a man's past, then she makes a U-turn and suddenly seems interested to know everything about him, because for her to make a decision about him, she needs to know whom he dated, where he studied, how much money he made, and what his financial prospects have been. It's plain hypocrisy right in front of everyone. So this is the reason why you will see feminists raging and triggered because of the question about their past. When they say the past doesn't matter, it really means and translates to this. I've done every degenerate thing you can think of in my youth. I will tell you not to judge. But I will judge you for having standards that I don't fit into because it hurts to accept that I did things that I will carry with me for the rest of my life. I don't want men to judge me for my past, but I judge men all the time. Please ignore my past. I'm totally not insecure though. You are the insecure one. When it comes to long-term relationships or having children, women are quite interested in a man's financial history, present, and future. Therefore, you must also consider her family history carefully. Women don't give a damn about your problems. They wait and choose the winners at the finish line. That is the truth that many guys don't often seem to understand. Every relationship involves giving and receiving, and women make sure they are with someone who can support them. Men want to know about a woman's past, how many men she dated, whether she cheated or divorced, and how many men she had an intimate relationship with. Men need to be aware of this so they can determine whether the woman to whom they are planning to devote their time, effort, and money is devoted to him and will stay with him. Therefore, if it's a short-term relationship, men shouldn't worry about a woman's background because it doesn't really matter. Nothing that may be significant is meant to come of this as far as you know. If it's a one-night stand with benefits, then who cares? However, it is crucial to understand her background if you plan to date her long-term or, more precisely, if you're seeking the girlfriend or someone to start a family with. In reality, she is quite interested in your abilities to care for and defend yourself as a man and as a strong male role model in a family since she is going to spend her life with you and raise children. I'll explain why you should be interested in learning about her background. A woman has a very low chance of developing a healthy monogamous bond with one man over the course of a lengthy period of time if she has a high notch count, a history of promiscuity in which she slept with many men, and she lost her virginity at an early age. Numerous studies have been done on this. 
If you compare two ladies, one who started at age 20 and has a notch count of 2, viz. one who started at age 16 and has a notch count of 50, the former is by far the wiser option. There will be a lower chance of divorce for you. Your chances of developing a strong relationship with her will be greater. At this point, some claim that men and women are the same. Usually what happens is that people ask why males can be promiscuous without consequence, but women can't. Men and women are complementary to one another's lives, which is where the freak show begins. They are not the same. They are not alike. They are extremely unlike. Men have enormous amounts of testosterone after all. Estrogen is present in women in large amounts. When it comes to hormone levels and how we interact with one another intimately, we are extremely different from each other's points of view, and all the research and data show that women who have a history of promiscuity find it difficult to develop good, long-term monogamous ties with males. If you're a woman watching this and you're hoping to meet a good guy to have a family with, don't be a garden tool, and don't go tossing it about to every person who shows you some attention. That's simply the reality of the intimate market. You want to maintain your attractiveness, so make sure your notch isn't something that would raise most eyebrows. That is simply the way things are, and you know that no amount of fighting, finger pointing, or shouting can ever change that. It will always be that way. Since there is a 100% probability that you won't be truthful if you ask her, many males ask how you calculate the notch count. One of two things will happen if you question a woman about her notch count. Either she will lie, or she will understate it. Simple. When women talk about this number, they are picturing anything lasting longer than a few months, such as boyfriends who lasted more than three months. Anything that qualifies as a one-night stand, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, or that lays vacation to Europe for the summer that lasted for two and a half months, friends with benefits, female encounters, and anything else. They avoid recalling those. Therefore, you won't receive a precise figure. Although a number will be given to you, it won't be exact. I mean, if you want to be lazy, just double it by two or three. If you want to establish this with a female who is 31 years old, the best strategy is to just ask her about her 20s and what she did during that period. It's a good indication that the relationship is open, or that she is a keeper if she claims to have recently broken up with the partner she had been dating since she was 20. She didn't have a greater count. It's a respectable and low notch count. You won't see it very frequently. Instead, you'll likely encounter more counts who say things like they traveled across Europe throughout their 20s, or that they worked at an island festival, or that they were on a cruise ship for five years. In actuality, you'll never learn the precise figure. You need to be quite careful about her intimate past because when it comes to long-term partnerships or having children, you are very anxious about your financial future. If you're not, you may put yourself in a lot of trouble. So, in a nutshell, get to know her past before you commit to her, guys. Otherwise, there will be a lot of regret and misery waiting for you if you end up with the wrong person. Women really don't understand the concept of equality, even though they're the ones who are promoting it and talking about it all the time. They want selective equality, where they get to select the metrics that should be used to analyze them, and then select the ones used to analyze and judge men. It's quite amusing when women these days say that a woman's past shouldn't be used to judge her, but say quite the opposite when it's about knowing a man's past. It's selective liberalism, and selective feminism, both of which are quite hypocritical in nature. Don't you think? Thanks for watching Man Reacts. Show us your love and support by liking this video, sharing it with your friends, and subscribing to the channel. And let us know your thoughts on this in the comments. We're always up for a healthy debate and discussion.